guys and ghouls, tonight on Hypnotic TV, we're interviewing super talented artistic bands. and I create the instrumental parts of the songs. Yeah, we both actually care about the songwriting. Why blue music? That's the thing. Uh, blue is a chromatic metaphor for uh, spirituality, as in many ancient cultures it, it was used uh, as the color, it was actually interpreted as the color for uh, everything was spiritual. So the universal love, the pureness, uh, the spiritual dimension in general. And we actually related to the Buddhist culture, the Indian Buddhist culture. Uh, for this reason we decided to choose the blue lotus as our symbol, which is uh, still a symbol of pure, of universal love and pureness. So with this um, meaning, we decided to create a music which is as bright as the spiritual dimension can be. So it actually has the function to wake up again, to awaken the inner child that is inside each and every one of us. That's why we want you to join us in our mission. So ultimately is a kind of a metaphor for positivity. Yeah. Okay. To celebrate the interview, I'm wearing my blue. From? We both are from the south of Italy, uh, from a little town known as Sorrento. Yeah. It's not its name, it's actually, known as Sorrento. Yeah, it's pretty touristic. <laughs> Maybe some of you actually know it. I don't know. Usually, Maybe. when I yeah, when I usually talk about my hometown to someone, to and some foreign people, they say, oh yeah, this the part, the beautiful part of people with all the sea and nice food. Yeah. Yeah, they don't <laughs> come to where, where she is in Italy and yeah. <laughs> anyway I still I still am in here, here in Sorrento, I still live here. Yeah. She... I'm currently living in Milan, <laughs> in the north of Italy, and I've been living there for yeah, almost two two years now. Yeah, one year and a half actually. Yeah, this was September September two thousand fifteen was not two thousand fourteen. 14 was my uh, my month for moving there. So, yeah. Which is why we make this kind of a ping pong game uh, with the production of the yeah. uh, the covers and the songs. I make the music, then I send her to Milan uh, the instrumental part, yeah. and she records the vocals and makes some master uh, mastering together with the technician. And yeah. then Influences. Our music influences are pretty various. Uh, it comes from a wide variety of genres. We expe especially love uh, the shoegaze, sh shoegaze yeah. post, post, post rock, rock alternative, black, black post black. Um, yeah, the atmosphere music in general. Atmosphere sexy. music and mainly music which finds its center inside the emotion. <laughs> Yeah, I voted too, so I used to pronounce their name as Agaloch. 
but it's not like that. It's, it's I don't I know. Know. As, as far as I know. Yeah. I listen to some American music. I usually don't mind the nationality of the bands I listen to. But one ex example I have to make is the uh, Weakling. Uh, which is a band of pioneers, it no longer exists now and it, it is based in, it was based uh, in San Francisco or uh, if I, I, I am not mistaken Many um, artists just go there for the producers <coughs> yeah. They were the first ones to take the black metal out of the box and they are basically some of the creators of the post black metal together with um, Waltz in the throne room which, if I am not mistaken, again, they are from America too. And oh, yeah, America is kind of the cradle of the post black metal. And yeah, I absolutely love them. Yeah, they just made one work, which is one masterpiece. Uh, I also named one of my email, email accounts after their first album, uh, Dada's Dreams. Uh, it is not that my dreams are dead, okay? I love Lady Gaga too, but mostly I loved her in American Horror Story Hotel and I'm a huge fan of black metal as well. I have a few international black metal bands in my favorites playlist, including Japanese post black metal. If you could live anywhere, where would it be? So, oh, this is a beautiful question. I'm totally in love with Berlin. I have to say this, my friends know because I'm like more than love, probably obsessed by Berlin. <laughs> I love it as a as a as a town for uh, the kind of uh, you know background that is there, the kind of, of town it is. It's a very young town full of startups, uh, full of people that um, love creating, full of art, full of you just breathe it in the air when you go there. And I just totally love. It. I've been there like twice. And uh, I have spent a week there for my 18th birthday. I asked it for as a as a gift, and I've been there uh, during a, for a weekend with my boyfriend. And I just just didn't, didn't want to go away. I also speak German. I'm studying it currently. I've been studying it for I think yeah seven or eight years now. And I love Germany in general, so I I totally moved there. I'm also very curious about Japan, to be honest, because I've I've been I started to uh, to study Japanese and to study the culture in a in a serious way. I mean, not just talking about stereotypes and uh, the the things all people know about Japan, like yeah, the kimonos, katanas, and stuff like that. No, I'm. And try to understand a bit more about this fascinating and far culture. So yeah. I am really fascinated by the eastern side of the Asian continent. Uh, so I am. I love Japan as well, and also I I I would love to see uh, the traditional side of China. Uh, yeah. India. It would be, yeah, it would be yeah. awesome. Yeah. I think it would be awesome also for our music. It's, <laughs> to it's a land to full of colors, yeah. full of of smells. Good smells, I, yeah. I believe. Um, yeah, yeah I, I would like to, and to see this, some. And they have these great temples, and uh, well, of course, beyond Japan, they, they have the traditional temples. Uh, really, yeah, you will see us performing scenes, in some <laughs> video clips in some yeah, years. We, we get yeah, money. in some of these temples yeah. in the future, near or less. <laughs> Any mythological creature, what would it be? Uh, if I base myself on my life and my um, my way of living and making things, I think that I would be similar to Icarus. Mm. Um, I am kind of the guy who makes himself a machine and uh, uses its uh, instinct and rationality together uh, to fly towards something uh, which is the sun in the case of Icarus uh, which may uh, burn him to death but also it is something so beautiful and warm when it warms your heart and you need you feel the need to uh, get your heart warmed uh, even though it could kill you that's beautiful thanks yeah I know. 
I think that's way too serious for me. I would be like the, the, the Loch Ness Monster probably. <laughs> because it's mysterious and no one knows if it actually exists, if it or he or she, we don't know, if it actually exists or not. So the underground scene is perfect for you, basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> More than a funny one. Everybody, okay, that's it. Yeah, I, I don't know, to be honest. Uh, for you. Yeah, this Monster is, is the first thing coming on my mind now. That, that's probably problematic. Yeah. Is, is it even a mythological <laughs> creature? Is, is yeah. It, yeah, it's mythological. Uh, some, way. some folklore stuff. Okay. Yeah, Next yeah. question. Do you have any upcoming shows or tours? Uh, no, we don't. Uh, sorry, but we're actually almost. planning almost. Yeah, because we're actually planning to uh, collaborate with an association that cares about poetry. It's called Mosa di Sepia. Which will be like most of most of the sepia, sepia. <laughs> most of the sepia. Sepia. That will we will be like a most of crawl. Most yeah. of a, uh, a cuttlefish. cuttlefish. Most cuttlefish. of cuttlefish. Yeah. Uh, anyway, <laughs> it is an organization caring about young po uh, poets. So yeah, so we're trying to we we're going to collaborate with them probably uh, for a couple of of their of their dates of their meetings and that's something cool for us because we like the idea of uh, working with people that care about that care and work on poetry and, and this kind of art and yeah that's it for now but maybe we're probably we're probably we, it is, that's the possibility that we're getting maybe a gig in the uh, next autumn i don't know if it is it's not confirmed but i will see anyway every gig in the future uh, in the near future will be in italy so we will yeah. not come out from yeah. our Italy Unless program. you guys create a great community of blue souls and we can go there and visit mm. you and don't, it will be don't awesome. Lose it. Don't lose it and again, okay? Don't lose it. <laughs> <laughs>